I'm leaving EY. Yep. 2021, I'm leaving EY. Hi there. Well, today something big just happened, and your girl even had to dress up for today. Um, yeah. Should I tell you now? What should I wait? Tell you now? I can't tell you now. So today was my drum roll. Today was my last day working in corporate America. I'm leaving EY. Yep. 2021, I'm leaving EY. I had to exhale on that. So, hi everyone, this is Rufaro and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, as I mentioned, I'm leaving corporate America. I'm leaving. EY, which is a big four accounting firm. For those of you who don't know, I at EY I was a consultant, so I was a financial services consultant, and I worked with large investment banks. So, in this video, as I was you know going through my process of leaving the firm, thinking about that, uh, going through you know through HR, thinking about how I'm leaving my team and thinking of my next opportunities, I thought, hmm. Okay, I would have liked to have structured my process better and for those of you who are thinking of maybe making that move, I just want to leave you with some points so you can leave the company you are in a great place and still be able to use those leverage, those resources, that network um, to basically like catapult you to the next phase you want to be in your life. Um, yeah, just to leave on a good note. So. Yeah, if this is what you're interested in, please go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share with somebody else. So the first point I would leave with you on this is you definitely want to go through all your fine print, all your documents. This is something I did not do fully. Even when I boarded with the firm, I was just tiny. I was excited. Like, girl, first job out of college, and I'm working in New York City, and... I'm working with the big four accounting firm doing consulting. I was signing, 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 right? And um, I mean, fortunately, the HR team at this company was incredibly helpful and they explained everything to me, um, explained what this would mean. Or for instance, there's some companies where if you leave, the, your contract was that you have to work with them for at least one year. Um, if you don't work for them for one year, you, I guess, will kind of be like penalized and you have to pay back your starting bonus. So imagine whatever that starting bonus you had, you have to pay it back. They can even put you on like a payment plan to pay back that money. So these are things you should be mindful of. I know someone who quit their job three days before they had completed their full year. So imagine if this person knew they would have just waited three days and if the HRT had told them, you know, or their people, they would have made this mistake. The next thing I would say is you want to send out thank you notes. You want to send out thank you notes to your managers, your seniors, your other people who work with you, or I don't know what you call the different levels in whatever company you work at. Send them thank you notes, um, send them emails, send them message, messages if you Skype, Microsoft Teams, whatever. I reached out to some people who I probably interacted with twice. Uh, on my new client since we were so many and they were like oh thank you so much for sending me this message thank you so much for thinking of me and I was like oh wow these people really think it's deep because I remember my when I was staying with my roommates and they would be like oh my gosh this person just left I thought we were friends you know or they have been piled with new work and they're like wow we were talking the other day did not mention anything of them leaving and you know, you don't want to be that person. You want to show that you see people as, they, as you see them. And um, yeah, I, so I definitely encourage you to do that same thank you note to your managers. Um, another reason why you should send thank you notes is because you want to maintain those connections when you move to the next 
uh, phase of what you're doing because you never know how those people could help you you never know how you could help those people so it's incredibly important to um, maintain those relationships with all the people who work for you they could vouch for you if you wanted to go to grad school to work they could write those recommendation letters for you as well while on that topic of connection please 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 use linkedin leverage your linkedin i have done a 21 day challenge of posting on linkedin so if you don't know what linkedin is or want to learn more about that please look at those videos and i can help you but basically connect with those people on linkedin and let them know hey i'd love to connect with you um, the reason for this is because when you leave you lose access to the emails to direct communication with them Sometimes you might even forget what their first and last names are if you're on large teams and if you're on LinkedIn You it's basically like being on Facebook if someone posts you can see and you can interact with them And you can just send them a message. So you definitely want to stay in contact with them on that. Then while you're still fresh I recommend honestly do this within the first couple of weeks of leaving your job make sure you update your resume let me tell you there's nothing more um um stressful than now having to update your resume and you're like oh my gosh what exactly did i do again how exactly did i contribute to this project because you might have worked on a lot of things so if with your company you have a portal where you um like a tracker for inputting the tasks you did so i we had that or another one where it'll tell on this client you did xyz go ahead and take a look at all of that before you actually leave the company because that will be helpful you can then take some of those things put in your own words and update your resume so that with your next opportunity you have a fresh resume that you can speak on and again also you if you're close with your team uh, you can reach out to that person like hey do you remember how we tackled X Y and Z if you don't remember the project you worked on a while ago and they can help you refresh your mind so that you know exactly what you did and you can sell yourself in that I mean if you have more questions on that please drop a comment um, because I enjoy helping people with um, practicing for interviews with their resumes and also with again maintaining and leveraging their networks to maximize their um, opportunities then the last thing, which if you haven't gone over already, that's perfectly fine. Thinking of your next steps fully. And I would say thinking of this, I don't just mean mentally, but writing it down. I'm a firm believer in writing it down, speaking it, and it will happen. Of course, you've got to put in the work. But start thinking of those next opportunity. And when I say this more specifically, think of the skills you gained that comes this is the part where you were writing of your skills, what you did, the skills you gained and how you can transfer them to what you want to do or how you can attach these skills you gained with your hobbies if you're trying to get into something new. So see how you can do that and then um, you're, you're more detailed and you can be more specific on this. Also, if you need help on this, drop a comment. I could do a video on this or also connect with you and help you with this because it's something I also do on the side. So. I mean, overall, I'll just say that I definitely, I thoroughly enjoyed my experience at EY. Uh, starting working um, with a company during COVID, starting virtually, is crazy, to say the least. Uh, because, of course, you don't have that one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, you do have one-on-one -on -one interaction, but it's not face-to-face. -face. It's not like you, at lunchtime, you're in the elevator or lift together, you know, to go create, create food. You can just walk to someone's desk, ask for help, things like that. Um, but the people at EY were truly helpful, built such amazing relationships and connections, learned so much about myself. I truly did. And I was challenged because I think people challenge you when they see your potential and when they actually care. So I definitely was challenged and I grew a lot. And I know that my experience I have here will definitely take me to the next level with what I'm doing next. And I have officially become a part of the EY alumni network, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, also if you have questions on how I got into um, corporate America, how I got into EY, uh, how I got in, became a financial services consultant or getting into big four accounting firms or consulting firms, uh, drop a comment in the, uh, the, yeah, just drop a comment and we can go over this. this is something as well i enjoy helping people with and yeah thanks for watching this video please go ahead like subscribe comment and share